What's going on everybody, this is Afro Think Tank. Have you ever wondered how white people, specifically or mostly country white people from middle of America or down south, just so casually blow off slavery like it wasn't a big deal? Or they just kind of want us to let it go, get over it? You ever wondered why they downplay the events, you know, even though it was obviously a monumental wrong that was done. You ever, you ever wondered why they really believe the way they believe? Like it's so casual, like it was nothing, right? You ever, you ever wondered why they compare this form of slavery to just they just meld it with other, you know, instances of slavery? throughout you know history and they just kind of like put it all together like it ain't nothing just something humans do you ever wonder why they honestly and truly believe that well first off notice in your school when you grew up the only time you learned about slavery was during African American History Month the shortest month of the year and they gave you a couple pamphlets they told you about a couple key figures but they never told you about any of the actual heroes that would inspire us to revolt against the powers that be that's taking advantage of us, right? And most black people live amongst other black people. That's why we, for some reason, still talk about black on black crime like it's inherently something black people do that's out of the ordinary of what human beings do in general. You know, white on white crime, black on black crime, yellow on yellow crime, brown on brown, it's all the same. Did you know, uh, this is off the topic, did you know, if if you look at the statistics of crime in this country, and if you don't look at big cities, because th that's how they do the statistics, they do big cities, right? And mostly big cities like D.C., New York, Chicago, that's where we live, right? Big cities have more people, they have more crime statistically, right? But most of America lives in rural areas, okay? The country, the majority, well, no, well, most people will be living in cities soon, but the majority of people, most of America, is rural, not city, not D.C., New York, Los Angeles, Chicago. To, in order for them to count, because they don't count when they do this, when they do the statistics with the large cities, they don't count. They're not included. Therefore, the data is skewed to paint a narrative that black people in black places like Baltimore and Chicago are inherently more dangerous than any place. And then the Fox News feeds that to all the white rural people who don't come around black people, who don't live around black people. They may know one or two black people that live in their 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 town or something. But for the most part, their entire understanding of black people is through the media and through their education. Now, if we were educated that, you know, we were criminals and we were this and we we're that and slavery was this and that. Imagine what poor white people who are also disenfranchised by the very same people who disenfranchise us just in a different way. Imagine if they knew the true history of slavery because they don't. So a lot of their ignorance on slavery is honest because they literally in their school system, you think in February, you think that they were actually teaching white people about what white people did to black people in the middle of America? Do you think that they put any real effort in that? Absolutely not. The same reason they didn't put no effort in teaching African people on the continent about colon colonialism and what happened there. The powers that be are not going to teach the people they are, they are oppressing how they got oppressed. And, that, and they're not going to teach them because they are the oppressor, continually to oppress us. So I'm going to let this guy, all right, this white guy, he's going to tell you exactly what white people truly think, truly believe, and was truly taught about slavery. And then you will understand why the, um, why... Uh, critical race theory, which is just simply telling the actual history of America unbiased so that we can get to the nitty gritty truth about how everything came to be. That's why they're so afraid. That's why Fox News, Republicans, they do not want poor white folks to find out what actually happened. Because if poor white folks actually found out what happened, a lot of them would have a change of heart they would but without further ado uh let's go this is african-american history as told by conservatives the first african workers were given rides to the americas in exchange for their labor 
The people they worked for treated them like family and they were very happy. But then the northern states started a war because they were jealous of how much money the south was making. This war of northern aggression came to an end when the southern economy collapsed and states' rights ended. So black Americans went on to do amazing things such as invent peanut butter. The next several decades were great for African Americans. They had all the freedom they wanted, but it wasn't enough. So they started the civil rights movement where they demanded more rights than white people. It's a well-known fact that conservatives were totally the good guys of the civil rights movement. So in response to this, God-loving conservative Americans all over the country elected the greatest president ever, Ronald Reagan. African Americans absolutely loved Ronald Reagan and he did so much to help them. Racism, of course, was gone at this point, but Obama got elected and he brought it all back. So again, the God-loving conservative Americans elected the greatest president in United States history, Donald Trump. And of course, he did more for African Americans than any president in American history. And that's about it. Today, black people have more rights than white people, and racism was almost entirely gone until Obama was elected.